The Consumers Foundation has filed a class action lawsuit against Costco for selling contaminated frozen berries. The foundation says Costco failed to carry out its duty to ensure product safety, adding that it did not provide sufficient compensation to consumers earlier this year. In total, the foundation is asking Costco to pay 11.07 million NT to affected consumers. Earlier this year, the hepatitis A virus was found in batches of Costco's frozen mixed berries and blueberries. The Consumers Foundation has filed a class action suit against Costco, demanding 20,000 NT in compensation for each affected consumer. It's also seeking punitive damages of three times the purchase price, up from two. It's such a large company, but its inspection mechanisms are lacking. The compensation it offered consumers was just a refund plus an amount equivalent to the purchase price, but it did not offer any compensation for matters like like psychological damages. The suit was filed on behalf of 135 consumers. It asks Costco to pay approximately 11.07 million NT. Back in March, Costco should have known that the contaminant was present in the products imported from the U.S., but it didn't do anything about it. The company failed to do its job. It failed to implement self-management to ensure food safety in accordance with Article 7 of the Act Governing Food Safety and Sanitation. Earlier this year, the consumer lobby group won a lawsuit against Top Pot Bakery, which was found to be using artificial ingredients in all natural bakery products in 2013. It had sought compensation of 1,000 NT per customer affected. This time, the foundation is asking for 20 times more from Costco. We are seeking more compensation for psychological damages than in the previous case against Top Pot Bakery. The reason is that this time we're dealing with toxic substances. In addition, Costco's annual membership fees are quite high. Costco says it will reach out to the Consumers Foundation for clarity on case details. It says it will continue to communicate with the foundation to ensure consumer safety.